Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. So today I am doing another gold drip piece. I will link in the description the first gold drip piece. So what I'm using today is colors from the Color Cottage. I'm using Sapphire Blue, Bluebird Blue, Midnight Black. I'm adding a little bit of acrylic paint into the Midnight Black just to make it darker. And then for the gold, I am using Pinata Alcohol Ink in Rich Gold. And I'm not going to be mixing that with any resin. I will just drip that directly onto the piece. So first thing I'm going to do is cover my entire piece with the black resin. And you can see that um, my canvas over there is a little bit unstable. I just put a couple of popsicle sticks under the edge of it to help even that out. And then after I put the black down, what I do is I do a little line of the crushed glass. Now you could do the encrushed glass like entirely after you have done all your colors and your spreading. Just me personally, I like to put a little bit of crushed glass down before and then I add more after I've done all the colors to just give it more texture. So you always want to have a torch or a heat gun on hand to pop all your bubbles. I like to use the torch to pop and then the heat gun just to push around my colors. So now I'm putting down the crushed glass and then the first color that I'm going to pour after that is the sapphire blue and then I poured the bluebird blue directly on top of that and then you'll see the gold drip. And when you're dripping your alcohol ink, you just want to be very careful because alcohol ink, you'll start to notice it's going to spread out a lot and especially when you start blowing it, just be cautious at first with how much you use. You want to get used to working with it before you just put a ton on there, depending on how much you want it to take over. So after I drip my gold alcohol ink, that is the fun part because I get to use my heat gun to spread out my alcohol ink. And I really love this attachment that you see here. Now I've looked for this heat gun with the atta attachments in Amazon and I can't find it. I don't know if they sell that one anymore, but in the description I will link like how much I paid for it and what brand it is if you want to check that out. It was only around $20 and it came with all the attachments. It only has two settings, high and low, and I use the high setting. So my favorite thing about this is how beautiful the blue looks when you push it and it's underneath the gold. It looks amazing. There will be some pictures at the end um, in the sunlight of what it looks like and just a little video kind of what it looks like when it's wet. When I'm doing this, you're going to notice that some of the glass pieces are kind of going all over the place. That's why I said you can put them on after. I just like to do it this way and I just use a little popsicle stick to kind of bring all the glass pieces back after I blow it out. For this type of crushed glass, just depending on what type you get, some of them have like on the back there's white and then on the front it's glass. So I use my popsicle stick to kind of flip over some of the glass pieces. It really all just depends on what kind you get. I got this bottle of glass um, from Michaels in the decor section. Everything that I use will be listed in the description below along with links to where I bought it. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more resin art and all kinds of different art. If you guys would like to see more of the pictures of the artwork you see here or more artwork that I don't get to put on YouTube, you can always find me on Facebook at Wandering Art or on Instagram, Wandering Art 816. I'm going to link both of those in the description below if you'd like to come check it out. And thank you guys so much for all the support lately and the new subscribers. I really appreciate it so much. And as always, guys, have a great day.